Okay. Good afternoon, Hello. everybody. Welcome to our first Puzzle English video lesson. I hope everybody learned something. I hope it's interesting for you. And most of all, I hope it's fun. So the first thing I'd like to do is tell you my name. Hugh McEnany is my name. I'm from Ireland. I've been here about eight years. Um, my main work is as an English teacher. I have had many different working careers in the past, lived in a number of different countries. But today our goal here is to help you with your English. And I'd like you guys to just introduce yourselves, say a little bit about yourselves and why is English, the question is, why is English important for you for your future? So what's your name? Uh, my name is Sergey. Welcome, uh, Sergey. Um, English uh, is uh, very important uh, for each uh, other. Uh, it's uh, uh, the most popular language in the okay. world, uh, and uh, uh, we need learn English uh, uh, for uh, business. Okay. Mm. Uh, Any other reasons why English is traveling. important for traveling? Yeah, that's the most popular one for for business and for travel. Thank you, Sergey. And what's your name? My name is Alex. Oh, good afternoon, Alex. Yeah. I'm. Uh, I work as a programmer, so okay. I um, I require to do. Uh, I require to know uh, English very well mm. to keep working. To keep up to date yeah. with what's happening in your business. Yeah, it's important. Important for you. I understand. Do you play any computer games? Uh, no. No. Don't I have time. Don't have time. It's a typical complaint for people. We're busy, busy, busy. Thank you. Alex or Alexander or Alex. Sasha? Alex. Okay, we'll have to remember that. Alex. And what's your name? Hello, my name is Olga. And uh, I'm, uh, I have uh, been learning English for uh, uh, some t Many years. A few, a few years. <laughs> a few years, okay. And The rules, and, uh, yeah. Uh, try to practice uh, speech. Okay. So okay. So we'll remember everything after that. Great. Thanks, Olga. I think that's one of the most important things I've noticed when I taught English a long time ago in Japan. But people in it's not important. People in Japan, people in Russia, where English isn't the first language because many people have the rules from school, from university. But of course, without practice, it can be it can be a challenge. And speaking of practice, everybody has a little sheet, and I think we'll just look at this one briefly. General grammar rules. We will start the ball rolling. Do you know this idiom, we will start the ball rolling? Uh, I'm not sure. Well, think of bowling. Does anybody like bowling here? Yeah. yeah. So when we start to bowl, we start the ball rolling. Start the ball rolling is an idiom we use when we just get something started, when we get a process started. So let's have a little look at this. this I hope this is something you remember, but it's important to refresh our memories. Would you like to read the first circle there, Olga, on the top left? What's this first circle here? Nouns. Uh, the first circle is nouns. Nouns are names of things or feelings. Okay, super. Do you un understand what things or feelings are? What's an example of a noun then? Uh, sheet, of paper. Sheet, yes, we have to be careful with that pronunciation <laughs> there. Sheet, yes, thank you, very good. <laughs> what, what, what's an example of uh, a feeling then? Uh, love. Love, everybody remembers love as the first feeling, yeah, good. What's Hatred. the opposite of love? Hatred. Oh yeah, hate or hatred. Hate could also be used uh, as a noun or an adjective. What's the next one here then, Alex? Verbs. Verbs, yeah. So will you read about verbs for us, please? Verbs are names of actions or happenings. Okay. So, for example, love. Uh, make, <laughs> make, left, leave, yeah, leave. abandon. Oh, abandon. Broke. Oh, how do you uh, know break. abandon? <laughs> That's a big word for today. Abandon. Did you read a dictionary when you were having your breakfast? Yeah, sometimes. <laughs> okay, I good. used to do it. Yeah? Used yeah. to abandon? Used to, to read a uh, dictionary. Really? Did that yeah. help you? Yeah. Yeah? Was it a Russian English dictionary yeah. or just an English? Oh, okay. Now I, I, now I just use. Um, only uh, English to English. Yeah, monolingual, just yeah. one language. Yeah, that's a good, good idea. A lot of people suggest that's the, the best way when you reach a certain level. And, Sergey, would you like to read the next one here under 
Verbs. What is this one? Adverbs. Adverbs. Adverbs describe and modify verbs. Modify. Yeah. Great. What's describe then? Do you know what describe means? Uh, describe is uh, uh, about something. Uh, to give more information. If you describe something, yeah, you give more information. And what's modify? There's another synonym we Ch can use. Change. change, for example, yeah. So if my verb is um, speak, if I speak like this at 100 miles an hour and nobody in the street can understand me, how do I speak? What's the adverb for how I speak? Fast. Fast, yeah. And if I speak like this and I hope everybody understands me, slowly, yeah. So it's interesting you said fast there, Alex, because typically, what's the typical ending for the adverb? There's L-Y. L-Y, yeah. L-Y is normally the ending, except for fast, as you said. So fast is the adjective, fast is the adverb. There are two more, two more exceptions. We might just go through them now, when we'll continue with this in a moment. If somebody says they have a difficult job, is there another synonym for difficult? Some hard. Hard, exactly, yeah. So hard in this context is an adjective. He has a hard job. She has a hard job. So how does somebody work? How can I describe how somebody works? He or she works? Hardly. Harder. No. Uh, you think hardly? You think? No. Hard. No. Harder? Did I hear harder? harder. You think? Hard. Hard, hard, yes. Hard. So hard is the second exception. Hardly has another meaning, which, which we'll look at a little bit later. And yeah, so that's the second yeah. exception, no change. And there's one more. We have to remember, oh yeah, of course. What is, uh, if I look at the weather and the sun is shining and it's a blue sky, how can I describe the weather today? Lovely, sunny. sunny. Sunny, for example, but I was thinking of good, but it's difficult for you to know what's in my head. If I say it's a, <laughs> <laughs> it's a good day. The weather is good. What will the adverb be from good? Uh, well. Well, exactly, yeah. So in goodly will not exist in this um, at all. What's the next one here, Olga? Would you like to read about adjectives, please? Adjectives describe and modify nouns. They do, super, yeah. So <laughs> describe and modify nouns. So for example, if we say the car is the noun. What adjective can we use to describe the car? Old. Cold? Red. Old. Oh, old, yeah. Old, red car, yeah. And, uh, beautiful. Beautiful <laughs> car. Oh. <laughs> but if I was in America, it would probably be awesome. You know, in America, yeah, awesome. they use awesome. That's totally awesome. 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 What, 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 would, what would awesome be in Russian? Moshna. Moshna. Yeah. I thought Moshna was like fast. Speedy, I think most Speedy. from motionist, yeah, from power, I think. Yeah, powerful, probably. Powerful, powerful yeah, could be a powerful car. Uh, let's finish this then. What else do we have here, Alex? Prepositions. Yeah, prepositions tell us where or when things are in relation to each other. Okay, great. So we have many, many prepositions in English. Do you know any of our most popular prepositions? For, ah, prepositions. For example, where are we now? On, yeah, on is one of the top three, as they say. Um, where are we at the moment? We are in uh, in a classroom. In a classroom, yeah. So on, in, um, at, exactly. Yeah. These these are three of them. So we have place prepositions and we have time prepositions. Many of them to remember. I mean, what time do um, you start work? At. From. At. at. Maybe from. But if we need from, we often use from with to. For example, I work from nine until. 10. What time do you finish work at, Sergey? Uh, at uh, 8 p.m. At 8 p.m.? I hope you start at 12 p.m., do you? Uh, yes. Yes? Okay, that's a good day for you. 12 to 8, okay. I start at 8 and finish at 8, if I'm lucky. <laughs> and when is your birthday then? Let's think about another time preposition. On the 21st. Uh, on the, on, on on the 21st. No. The 21st, correct, yeah, on of the May. 21st of May. Okay, great. And what's our last preposition then? What's your, do you have a favorite holiday, Olga, in Russia? Is there a favorite holiday? My favorite holiday? Masonitz. <laughs> <laughs> Masonitz, yeah. I don't know what Masonitz would be. Honey time, honey <laughs> festival, yeah? Musicians, they use here. What is uh, New Year? <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah, for example, yeah. So uh, what do you like doing 
at New Year. We can say at New Year I, when it's a period of time. New Year. Drinking champagne. <laughs> <laughs> Drinking and <laughs> eating. Drinking and eating, yeah. And after New Year, what does everybody decide to do after the 31st of December? Everybody decides to... Eating, sleeping, eating, sleeping. Eating, sleeping, eating, <laughs> sleeping. And then in January, everybody has a plan to... To what? To start fitness. No. No? No. I, I notice that a lot of people it's have every, this. It's uh, on every Monday. Oh, every Monday people yeah, have a plan for this. Hard. <laughs> Resolutions, we call these in English. Resolution, like New Year resolutions. Rishenya, I think, in Russian. What's the last one here then, um, Sergey? Conjunctions. Conjunctions. Conjunctions are words used to link material within uh, texts and sentences. Yeah, great. Conjunctions. So, we have a number of conjunctions in English, but again, the typical three and conjunctions or and, or, or, but. But, yeah, exactly. And, or, but. So, they make life... A, why do we need conjunctions? What's the purpose of conjunctions? I mean, my, I live in Moscow, my mother lives in Ireland, my friend lives in Australia. What's the purpose of conjunctions? Why do they help us when we're speaking or writing even in English? Do they make the text longer or shorter? Longer. Longer, longer? conjunctions? Yeah, no. Uh, well, no, they make the... <laughs> they, links material within text and sentences, I mean, typically they'll make them shorter for people so that we don't need to repeat. Like I could say, I live in Ireland, my mother lives in Moscow, but I could say, I live in Ireland and she lives in Moscow. We could just and shorten she too. her. She too? And, and also her. And she also Al Also her, yeah. She too, we couldn't use in that context. Also we could use there would be better. Um, Let's have a little look at this one. I, I, this is clear, I think. The grammar rules are quite clear for everybody. Word order. Now, who would like to start? Subject. This is really just how we put sentences together. We might find some new words in here as well. We can look at for vocabulary. Would you like to start, Olga? You're always the first to start. Subject, verb, object. The company? The company has five branches. Has five branches, yeah. So we have a number of different meanings for branches here. And branch, do you know the original meaning for branch? Vietka. 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 Oh, is that Vietka. it? Vietka. Ah, like on a tree? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. I thought Vietka was for the metro line. It's uh -huh. a Vietka, yeah? Oh, okay. Rich Russian language, huh? Oh, what does it mean in this context then? We have a map here. Offices. Yeah, offices, yeah. Filialov, I think, in yeah. Russian, yeah. Filialov. Yeah. Does your company have five branches? No. Does it have two branches? Just one branch. Just one branch, yeah? I thought there was another branch. Okay. <laughs> My company only has one branch as well. But very beautiful. Very beautiful <laughs> branch. Oh, <laughs> good use of adjectives there. <laughs> so our adjective, what, what, where, where is our, our adjective in the first sentence? The company has five branches. Adjective? Yeah, there is an adjective in the first sentence here. No, there is an adjective. What in f five? <laughs> five is our adjective, yeah. So any number which gives us some more information because it describes and modifies the branches. Tak, let's look at the next one here, Alex. She likes... French films. French films. Where's our adjective here? French. French, yeah, exactly. Do you like French films? No, I don't, I, I don't think so. No, you don't think so? Have you any experience of French films? Maybe I, uh, maybe I saw some films. But I prefer Hollywood films. Hollywood films, yeah. not Bollywood, no? No, not Bollywood. Do you know Bollywood? Do you know Bollywood films, yeah. Sergey? Uh, uh, Indian. Uh, I Indian films. Bollywood films, yes. Where yeah. they uh, sing every five minutes. They do, they I sing. They sing and they yeah. dance. Yeah. I don't understand, also, yeah. They're, they're not easy to understand. Do you prefer, uh, do you like Russian films also? Yeah. Yeah? Many people have recommended many, many Russian films to me, but. The only one I've ever seen is the typical uh, New Year Russian film. Oh. Slok, slok param, slokim param, yeah. param like Ironia steam. Как? What's it called? Ironia Ilis oh, that's it. It's like kind of two names in one. Ah, okay. It's a classic, yeah. Yep. Classical Russian, but, New but there year was a classic. New oh. Year. Oh, it's a New Year. I, I remember different scenes in the sauna and. 
people being drunk and arriving at people's homes. Some of the scenes I remember, but not all of them. What's the next one here then, Sergey? James? James is writing the report. Yeah, good. Report. Yeah, good. Report. Um, okay. So, do we have any... No, no adjectives. No adjectives here, but we have subject, verb, object. Where's the verb here? The verb, writing. Is, right. is writing. 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 Yes. Yeah. Right. So, when is he writing this report? Let's look at the tenses for a moment. What time is he writing? Right now, at the moment. Right now, exactly. If he was writing the report every day, which verb he tense? He writes. He Present. writes. James writes Present. the report. Present simple, exactly, yeah. Great. What's the next one here then, Olga? Simon? Simon works for ESO. SO, yes, he does. Simon works for SO. So, the subject is Simon. Simon. The verb is? Works. Works. Four is? Objects. Four, four is a preposition here. It's a preposition in this case, yeah. What's ESO then? Do we know ESO? Is it, the name of the company? it is the name. Do you know ESO? No. 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 It's echo. We know. Echo. Echo. Oh, echo the the fashion, yeah. The yeah. shoes in the fashion, yeah. ESO is um, it's it's an oil and gas company. I think it's, I forget what country it's from, but yeah, it's very like our Russian Gazprom. Just something here I wanted to say to you as well. For for ESO, it's not always for. The preposition we use, for example, if echo, if echo is the choice of the word, I can say he or she works in fashion. So it's in when it's in the business. It's for when it's the name of the company. And the last one here, um, Alex, I am. Uh, I am reading an interesting book. Yeah, good. I am reading. So again, with the tense, what, when is he reading this? Or when are you At reading moment, this? Yeah. At the moment, Present yeah. Continues. Yeah, just with the ending here for interesting, it's interesting to look at the interesting ending because if you are reading the interesting book, how do you feel? If you think of interest as the root of the verb, how does somebody feel? Interested. Interested, yeah, exactly. So always ED for the feeling. If you're reading, uh, if you see a boring movie, how do you feel, Sergey? I see a boring documentary or I have a boring English lesson, how do you feel at a boring lesson? Bored. Bored, Bored yeah, always ED. So can a person be boring? Yeah. Yeah? If, uh, if the person is Zanuda. <laughs> Zanuda, yeah, I was just thinking of Zanuda. That's a great Russian word. If the person is a Zanuda, is it Zanuda for a boy and for a girl? It doesn't change, Zanuda, no, yeah? It's the same. So it's not like Zanud chick or Zanuda, yeah, no? It's always the same, okay. Oh, Zanudni. Oh, okay, okay. Ti Zanuda. Ah, okay, okay, you can say that. Yeah. a girl, a boy. Ah, okay, itak itak, yeah. Tak, let's look at the next one here. Um, we can go through this, I think, a little bit faster because I think most of it is clear. Adjectives, Olga. Philippe? Speaks. Speaks. Philippe speaks good Yeah, what country do you think Philippe is from? Does the name sound familiar to you? Philippe Veronique? Oh, from Russia. I think if he was from Russia, he would probably be Philip. Yes? Uh, maybe, maybe if he was Italian, it would be Philippa. It's French, Philippe. I think. French. It's French. Philippe. Typically, yeah, a lot of the French names end with, um, with P-E like this. So where's our, our adjective here? Good. Good. Yeah, exactly. Let's turn over the next page and have a little look at this next one, Alex. That's a... Uh, that's a beautiful piece of music. Beautiful piece of music, yes, yeah, super. And the adjective is? Beautiful. Beautiful, it is, yeah. At the Krasiva Kusochka Musica. Can I say Krasiva Kusochka Musica? Just. Just, yeah. I've heard this before. I've, I've done this a number of times. So I guess if you translate it, it would be part, yeah? If you have chest, it would be part. So we, some of these things we can translate and some not so much. What would be a beautiful piece of music for you? Any particular composer that you know that performs beautiful pieces of music? Sting. Sting! Oh yeah, Sting can be quite popular. Yeah. Any famous... The Shape of My Heart. The Shape of My Heart? Ah, oh, very romantic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Englishman... Uh, uh, English, Englishman oh, Englishman in New York. In New York. That's a, yeah, Sting's very popular. Yeah. I wonder, has he performed concerts here before? I don't Does know. Does he still perform concerts, Sting? I think he's I'm retired sure. now. I think Sting decided, I read recently in the paper that, on the internet that uh, Sting has decided that he doesn't want to give any of his children any of his money. Did you hear this story? No. 
Yeah, he's decided that I think he, I forget how many millions, Just maybe. Elton John. Well, Elton, does Elton John have children? Yeah. Does he have a few children, yeah? I thought uh, Sting, two. oh, does he have two already? Oh, okay, I didn't, I don't remember him having children. But I remember Sting's fortune was uh, about 500 million, probably pounds also, maybe pounds, maybe dollars. How do you think his children felt when <laughs> the father told them the good news that you're not going to have any of my money? <laughs> Do you think they felt happy? What? Do you think they felt happy? Uh, no. Do you think they were dancing no. with joy? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Dad. You're the best. Yeah. They were disappointed. Though. They probably were slightly <laughs> disappointed. They probably won't be buying any of Sting's music. Yeah? What's the next one here, um, Sergey? They? Uh, they have developed uh, an interesting new product. Yeah, great product. Yeah. So where are our adjectives here? Uh, New. Yeah, new, new. and interesting and new. And interesting, yeah, interesting new product. Have you seen any interesting new products recently on the market? It's the What's interesting and new? Many interesting new gadgets we can see on the market now. Finally, for this part, Olga, it was. Um, yeah, uh, it was an exciting film. Exciting film. Hmm. Any exciting films? We know exciting? Yeah. yeah. I can't pronounce it. Uh, what's the most exciting film for you? Any, Sergey, any exciting film for you? <laughs> something that was interesting and something that really got your attention. Mad American Max. Pie. Mad Max? Oh, yes, Mad Max, it was, yeah. It was a very exciting movie for me. It was the, new, the latest Mad Max. The yes, newest yes. Mad Max. Oh, okay. I haven't seen that actually myself. And which one for you? Did you say American Pie? Yeah. <laughs> That's a different type of exciting, yeah? <laughs> Many different types of exciting. Also exciting, yeah. Let's have a little look at the adverbs. Two different types of adverbs here. Adverbs of manner, how we get things done. So how does he speak English, Alex? He speaks English well. He does. He speaks English well, which is our goal for being here. This is our cell. Yes? Purpose. purpose. This is many people's purpose. Great. So our adverb is? Um, well. 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 Yeah. What other adverb could I use about him and his English speech? He speaks well, he speaks carefully. Could I speak carefully? Yeah, probably. Yeah. Could I speak attentively? Attentive. We know attentively. Um, yeah. Vinny might no. No, Vienna. Yeah, Vinny might know. Could I speak attentively? What other verbs could I do attentively? If I think of attentively. Yeah, I could look, look at, yeah, look at something attentively. Could I listen attentively? Yeah. Read. Read, maybe read with attentively, yeah, many. How does uh, Alan drive then, Sergey? Alan? Alan drives quickly. Do you drive? Yes. Do you drive quickly? Uh, sometimes. Is your mother watching? <laughs> <laughs> sometimes, yeah. I think many people drive quickly. Excuse me, but on the streets of Moscow, I sometimes drive, but many people drive quickly. Not always, but quite often. When I first came to Moscow, I drove very slowly, very <laughs> carefully, very attentively. Now I think I drive like a local Moscow person. <laughs> Do you drive, Olga? Yes. Do you drive quickly? Sometimes. What does it depend on? If you drive quickly, what does it depend on? It depends on the state of the road. Okay, yeah, the state, the condition of the, the road, yeah. What else does it depend on? The speed. Do you drive, Alex? Yeah? What does your driving <laughs> quickly? <laughs> on, your, on your temper? Yeah? Cameras. cameras. Oh, cameras. <laughs> well, that's why we have Yandex. Thank you, Yandex. Yeah, we love you. You're the best. Is Yandex effective, do you think, when you're at the wheel? Is Yandex effective to help people Yeah. avoid? Yandex Navigator. Yeah, yeah Yandex Navigator. Traffic, uh, avoid heavy traffic. 
Oh, you avoid the traffic yeah. with Yandex. Yeah, it's good. It's a clever system. Very clever system. I use it myself. It helps me with my Russian as well. I can practice, listen to my Yandex and help with my Russian. Like, how does the new machine work then, Alex? The new machine? The new machine works more efficiently. It does. It works more efficiently. We know efficiently? Yeah. Yeah, yeah effective. No, 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 no. And um, Sergey, how did prices... Prices? Prices rose... Is Stead, 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 steadily. 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 What, what is it? Steadily. Stead. Do you know the adverb? What, what is happening right now in Russia? <laughs> oh well, steadily is step by step. Steady, uh, stability. But yeah. I, I don't know if you have an adverb from stability. Uh, do you think prices are rising steadily, or do you think they're rising sharply? They are sharply and steadily. Sharply and steadily together, yeah. And what's the uh, what's the original verb from rose? So I know rise. rise, yeah, exactly. Price is rose steadily. What do you think is the typical um, percentage that prices rise steadily each year in Russia? I mean, how do we know what percentage Inflation. prices will rise? Inflation, yeah. 10, 15. 10 or 15 uh, percent? Yes, mm. uh, our government say. Says, says. yeah. But uh, I think it's uh, much more... Um, much higher? Much higher. Much higher, yeah. I think in real life, yeah, it, it often is higher. I think it's connected to your basket of shopping, yes? That's what they say. It's kirizina, productive, eh? Naviena. Productive kirizina, yeah. And typically, what's in the kirizina? The basket. What's typically in the basket? Bread and... Uh, Bread milk. and... Gryczka, eh? <laughs> yeah. Bread and what other products do they typically look at uh, to decide what the rate of inflation? Bread, everybody needs bread. Bread, milk, butter. Milk, most, butter. Uh, used products. Most used products. In English, actually, we, we call those staple products. If it's staple, staple like stapler, but staple are things that you need that you need to have every day. Okay, let's look at the frequency adverbs, Olga. Do we know what frequency means? Just that, uh, yeah, exactly. How often something happens. What's the, um, just while we're looking at frequency, what's the adjective from frequency? There is an adjective. Frequent. Frequent, frequent exactly, yeah. How frequent. So, our frequency adverbs. Tell me about Mary, then, Olga. Mary? Mary is often late. She sometimes telephones to tell us. Okay, great. So, our first adverb is? Often. Often. Our second adverb is? Sometimes. Sometimes, yeah. Now, where is the verb in the first part of the sentence? Mary is. Late. Ah, uh, well, is is the verb. Late, in this case, will be an adjective. Pause, I mean, I know in Russian, Kagana, but just a. A positive. A positive. A is not easy for me. <laughs> sometimes, but sometimes not. Where is the verb in the second part then? Exactly. So you notice where the adverb is in the first part of the sentence? The adverb is after the verb to be. In the second part of the sentence, the adverb is before telephone. So every time, except when the verb is to be, we put the frequency adverb before, before the verb. Let's look at the next one, Alex, will we? I always... Uh, I always go to work by car. Okay. Is that true for you? Do you always yeah. go to work by car? Yeah. Does the traffic not make you crazy? No? Yeah, sometimes. Yeah? sometimes you need relaxing makes... music in the car, maybe, when you're traveling, yeah? yeah? <laughs> okay, good. Uh, just with the prepositions here also, another preposition, by car. It's by for every type of transport, except... Uh, foot. On foot. foot. On, On foot. foot, yeah, that's it. By car, by train, by bus, by... How do you go to work? Sergey, by car. Olga? By car. By car. Everybody goes by car. I feel poor. I go by metro. I go by marshutka. I don't even know what marshutka is in English. What's marshutka in English? Probably minivan. <laughs> Mini transport. Okay, so buy for every type of transport. The next one here, Sergey, is gym. Gym uh, often plays football. Yeah, great. Often plays football. So where's our adverb here? Uh, often. Often, yeah. Do you often play football? No, unfortunately. No, no time? Uh, no time. Because and, you finish uh, at 8 o'clock, you need to get up early before you come to work. And then you can play football. I like uh, watch uh, TV. <laughs> oh, I like watching uh, TV, yeah. Watching TV with football. On the sofa. <laughs> <laughs> on the sofa. <laughs> Drinking some beer. <laughs> with some beer. Somebody who likes to relax with their 
pult, remote control, yeah, and have some beer, or maybe not some beer. Tak, how does, what's the next one here? John, Olga. Uh, sorry? Can you read the third example here after Jim? John is the so very, the very last uh, example uh, here in the sentence. John is never at home on Saturday. Okay, great. So our frequency adverb is? Never. Never, yep. Yeah. And on Saturdays, what does John do? Maybe John works at the week. Do you work on Saturdays? No. No? no. Never? Do you think it's a bad thing to work on Saturdays? Developing uh, our own projects. Ah, private projects. Yeah, Freelance, private. yeah? yeah. <laughs> it's important, yeah. On the next page, we just have the rule. We, we, I explained the rules. I think they're clear to you. What about the next one, um, Alex? James? I don't, I don't hear okay. this page. Ah, this one, with the train. Do you have the one with the picture of the train? No, we don't have it. No? Okay, well, we can look at it here. Oh, it's on the other side, maybe, of one of your exercises there. Yeah, you have it. James is never ill. Lucky, lucky James, if he's never, never ill. Are you often ill? Uh, yeah, sometimes. Uh, t uh, twice, twice a year. Always? Yes. How do you know twice a year? <laughs> How do you know? I'm going to be ill in April? Yeah. I'm going to be ill in November. <laughs> yeah, I'm sometimes ill, but... What do you think is the best medicine when you're ill? Medicine. The couch, again, yeah? Uh, laughter. In Ireland we say I have a good laugh and have a lot of sleep. Sometimes we say whiskey, but that's another day. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, Sergey, is good medicine if you're feeling ill? Uh, don't know. Vodka. <laughs> Hot, tea. Honey. Hot tea. Milk. Honey. First vodka, then tea, or first tea, then vodka? Uh, vodka with milk. Vodka with milk? Yeah. Really? <laughs> I thought vodka with pepper. No, I thought vodka with pepper. And no. with pepper. <laughs> I think vodka and milk wouldn't be so tasty. Maybe that's why it's medicine. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what it's about Russian medicine? Yeah. yeah, good Russian medicine. Like the the medicine we had. I think you also had it in, in Ireland when I was a child. My mother always gave me, well, not always, but very often, cod liver oil. I think cod? he cod. Cod is the oh, fish. God. You have this special oh, oil. Yeah. That's it, ribigir. You have this special oil that many mothers. No, you know, no, not tasty. Not tasty. Okay. It's like all. I think most medicine isn't so tasty, because maybe if it was tasty, you'd go back for more. Um, what about the next one here, Sergey? She. She sometimes works on Saturday. Okay, so great. I think it's clear. She now just just with the order of the verbs, we understand works is before the sometimes is before the verb in this context. Let's look at place and time. This is just a little bit difference between the Russian and English with the prepositions here. Um, Olga, how does John go? John goes. John goes to the office by train every day. By train every day. It looks like an elektrichka. Mm -hmm. Have you ever gone on, a, on an elektrichka? Yeah. Four yes. years. For four years, did you? Do you live outside of Moscow? Oh, you do. You, you told me you yeah. live outside. Yeah? Near, near Moscow. Near Moscow, yeah. yeah. Pod. Under. Pod Moscow, under Moscow. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Do you think the electrichka is a... Digger. <laughs> Tiki. Wild, yeah? No, 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 digger. digger. Oh, digger, Under sorry. Moscow. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. Do you think the electrichka is a... What is electrichka in English, do we know? A train? It's most a suburban train. Suburb, like outside of the city. I mean, if you're urban, you're in the city. If it's suburb... It's further outside. Is it a good system? Is it an effective, fast oh, system? Yeah, it's fast, but uh, usually uh, they have uh, a lot of people inside. Yeah. Talpa? Yeah. Especially... Uh, crowded, yeah, I've heard that. Is it hot also on the electric? Can yeah. it be hot they in the summer? They don't have air conditioners. No air conditioners, no? Even on the new ones? Are there no new uh, ones? In a new uh, train, no. Yeah. In metro, not uh, not train, uh, not suburb train. Not the suburban trains, okay, not yet. We'll have to talk to Mr. Sibyanin's office about that and see what we can do, huh? <laughs> Tech, what's the next one here? The next conference, Alex. Okay, <clears throat> the next conference will be held in Paris in two years' time. Okay, <clears throat> so, will be held. What, what tense is will, do we understand this? Uh, will be held? Uh, future. Future, yeah. Future, uh, future. future. 
Future passive, yeah. In this context, you're right, because we don't know who's holding the conference. We have the object, but we don't have the subject. So in two years' time, maybe you could also just say in two years. It's kind of an old expression here, in two years' time. No, chiris dva godia. Have you been to Paris? Sergey? Have you been to Paris, Olga? I've yes? been to Paris. Did you like it? Uh, I liked it a lot. Did you? Did you? Parlez-vous français? No. Un petit peu? <laughs> chut chut? No? <laughs> Are you guys, have you been Never. to France? No? Would you like to? Yes. Yeah. It's I think very we, beautiful. City. Yeah, I was there years ago. A friend of mine in Ireland called me about 10 years ago. And he called me on a Friday afternoon and he said, would you like to come to Paris with me tomorrow? And this was a 60-year-old male friend. And I said, Frank, why are you calling me, asking me would I like to go to Paris with you? <laughs> His girlfriend was sick and he wanted me to go with him. So we went for 24 hours to Paris. <laughs> Very quick trip. Um, what's the next one here, Sergey? They usually... Uh, they usually go to Greece every summer. Yeah, super. So every summer they usually... Greece, popular country for travel for people, I think, from... Yeah. Russia, yeah. Mm. Do you think it's expensive? An expensive country? Now, yeah. It's got more expensive, yeah. Why do you think uh, now? Now all expensive. <laughs> <laughs> now everywhere is expensive, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> That's true. Uh, I've never been myself, but I'd like to go. Are you going to the meeting, Olga? On? Are you going to the meeting on Friday? Do you often have meetings on Friday? In your office, do you have meetings on Fridays? No. No? Some people think that meetings are a waste of time. Some people think if we have meetings about meetings about meetings about meetings. How do you know that your meeting is effective after you have a meeting? Is there a way to say, hmm, that was a good meeting, it was effective? Is there some magical solution? No? I don't know. I don't know. I guess if, you, if something happens after the meeting, it's effective, yeah? <laughs> if we can see a change. We'll just go through these examples quickly because some of there may be some new words here as well if you have the last page. The company, Alex, what does the company do? Can you see it? We have a number yeah. of examples here. The company, probably, uh, the company produces uh, microfilm. Super, microfilm. So produces at the... Presvadit. Presvadit. Thank you very much. And microfilm. Do you know microfilm? Cartometrage uh, film. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> when, I, when I had my first job in... Uh, 90, well, second job actually, in 1990, there was only one computer in the office and it was the manager's computer. I worked in a bank and I had to have, what did you say it was? Kratometrajny film. Maybe. I had to put the microfilm under a lens and it made, it, it appear, the information appeared on the screen. I think that might be it. Right, so the, yeah, yeah. Two? Ah, like a slide, yeah, yes. Something old. Very, I'm also something a little bit old. So. <laughs> yeah, produces microfilm. No company produces microfilm now. What do we do in the next one here, Sergey? We guarantee? Uh, we guarantee a uh, fast uh, delivery. Okay, delivery is clear, is it? We guarantee a fast, do you know delivery? That's yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Stuff, yeah. yeah. So when you call um, Domino's Pizza and you order your pizza, do they guarantee a fast delivery? They say Didn't? so. They say so, yeah, but do they guarantee a fast delivery? You need a good courier company to guarantee a fast delivery. And the next one here, Olga, sales. Sales are rising slowly. Sales are rising slowly. What are sales then? Pradaja. Pradaja. Some people think um, skitki, but no. Raz Pradaja. Raz yeah. I wonder what time of the year do you think sales typically rise? Is there a good time of the year for sales to rise? Uh, before New Year? Probably before New Year, yeah. New Year sales, true. And what's the next one here, Alex? Mary? Mary is often late. Mary is often late. What punishment do you think we should give people when they come in late? Do we have a punishment for people when uh, they come in not late? Not in our company. Fee? No? Fees? Fee? Money? You need to pay? Yeah, okay. Maybe stand in the corner for one hour. That's, that, that's super punishment, isn't it? Yeah. Can I have my headphones and I can stand in the hour and in it's the corner? It's not cor productively. Excuse me? That's not productively. No, it's not productive, yeah? Not, no, productive. not productive, definitely not. Interesting punishment. What's the next one here, Sergey? He? He often plays tennis. Yeah. I used to play tennis, but then I gave it up. I should really start again. I used to like tennis. Have you played tennis before? Yeah? So, 
Once. Oh, small tennis. You know, when I came to Russia first, and I asked people, do you play tennis? And they said, big tennis or small tennis? I didn't know there was a difference between big tennis and small tennis. Now, but what's the, the other name? Ping pong, yeah? Ping pong. Ping pong. Now, now I get it. It's table tennis, table. ping pong. The period upon my first time when I heard little tennis, I thought it was little tennis for little people. I didn't, I didn't know what it was. <laughs> now I get it. Finally, um, Alex, the sales manager. The sales manager is flying to Berlin on Monday. Super, flying to Berlin on Monday on his Commanderovka. Do that you have any? What's a Commanderovka? Um, in English? Business in English, uh, business trip. Yeah. Do you, do you have business trips as part of your work? Unfortunately, no. We no. Wish to, yeah. Wish to, yeah. <laughs> Just from home to Bel to your area. Yeah, I'd like to have business trips as well. But with technology now, we have a lot less business trips. Do you think there is less business travel with technology? Yes, do you, of course. Yeah, do you use uh, Skype often in your work? Yeah, sure. Yeah, for concert Every people. time. Every time. Now, every, all the time would be better. All the time, all if, the when, time. When I say every time, I know Kajiraz, yeah? Show Vrema, Navena, you want to say. If I use it, if it's every time, it's for example, every time I go to the shop, I buy. It's, con it's linked to a situation. Uh, I want to thank you all for being here. I hope you found it interesting. Next time, it's going to be more difficult. I'm going to be speaking faster. You're going to be speaking more. And let's have fun with Puzzle English. So thank you, Olga. Thank you, Alex. Thank and you. Thank, thank you, you Sergey. Thank, thank, thank you very much for being here. <laughs> <laughs>